everywhere I look a killing spree All the things they wanted me to be is all the things that What is going on everybody? It's your boy Gio with another video today Hope you guys are having a good day so far guys Today guys we're going to do something different I haven't done this in a while guys I haven't done like a little like a little cut commentary uh, Some gameplay videos Like I used to do a lot of gameplay videos in my like in the past Like if you're new to my channel Like in the past when I first started the, uh, the channel I used to do like a lot of like gameplay videos I used to just have, like you tell a story Or I used to have this little series called um, The Squad Plays Where I just play like a video games with my friends And just have fun And I still want to do that more I just we They're really the thing about video games right now is that right now it's kind of like the dead period for video games. That's why I like to call it when video games don't really come out that much and there's like not that much going on in the world of video games. But right now, Destiny 2 has been out for a couple weeks. So we're going to put some Destiny 2 right now, as you guys can see. And then uh, Star Wars is coming out soon. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. I uh, wanted to bring a game called Cuphead 2. And uh, the new Call of Duty will coming out soon. So the gameplay is coming back to the channel. But with that being said, guys, today I'm going to be telling a story, as you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail and title of the video. Today I'm going to start telling you guys how I started going to the gym. So I think I talked about it in the past a little bit on my channel about how I started going to the gym, but we're gonna get more in depth with it. And also this gameplay you guys have seen is pre-recorded, so that's why you kind of see my hands going up in here. Cause I realized that like, I can't really play and talk at the same time. Like I'm not that focused in the game. And like I, for some reason I, I just stopped talking because I've done that in the past and it gets it gets a lot harder to edit because I, I just completely stopped talking and then you gotta like line it up and everything so it's just easier if I just have some pre-recorded games um right here Destiny I love Destiny I love Crucible but this is one of my worst games so I'm just letting you guys know disclaimer I'm not this was one of my worst games that's me right there that's the Titan with the the oh, mask yeah. the blue line coming down so yeah but with that being said guys let's start the little story so how I started going to the gym okay so. For me, your being fitness, being fit and like something like that, like that was never really a thing for me since I was a kid. Since I was a kid, I was always kind of like chubby. Like actually, I was actually I was I was I was skinny. I was a little stick. I was a little stick up until like I was like eight years old. Once I was eight years old, that's the last photo I have of me like remembering that I was like tiny. Ever since then, it all went downhill when I was introduced to McDonald's, freaking Happy Meals, little McDouble, with some fries or chicken nuggets with a little toy. That was the best thing in the world. So I got like really, really fat because of that, because of fast food. But um, the thing is that like, I don't know. I always want had like this like, kind of idea in, like in my head that like I wanted to be fit. And I was, and I, I don't know why. Like when I was a kid, and I was around like fifth, or, like fifth grade. I was like, damn. I feel, I, when I'm older, I'm gonna have a six pack. That's what I told myself. I told that when I'm older, in my twenties, I'm gonna have a six pack. So I can tell myself that. I can tell myself that. And then the years progress, and I just could like got fatter, 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 fatter. And overall, I didn't really like take care of my health at all. I didn't really like worry about working out that stuff at all until like around sophomore year. Sophomore year, I stumbled along a YouTube channel called the uh, Six Pack Shortcuts. Uh, introduced, it was a, a YouTube channel run by a, this guy named Mike Chang at the time. Mike Chang no longer runs a channel for Six Pack Shortcuts. Six Pack Shortcuts is one of the biggest YouTube channels out there for fitness. But it, it, in my opinion, it's not. It's now it's one of the biggest, but it's not the best at all. By by any means, I don't think it's the best at all. Like I. Just my opinion, six pack shortcuts, it's, it's not really, it's not really that great. That's all I gotta say. But with that being said, guys, I did some of the workouts and I, I lost very few like weight. I saw, I saw, I lost a little bit of, like a weight for the things because I wasn't following through my nutrition. Cause I didn't, I was still young at the time. I was thinking I was, I was a sophomore in high school. So I believe I was like 15, I believe. And like, I don't, I don't know, like I kind of wanted to start losing weight and I did for a little bit. And then I joined football that same sophomore year. I joined football, I started playing football. I did, I joined during off season. So we were just conditioning, weightlifting and whatnot. And, oh, hold on guys, I'm watching this game, but that, that was good. I, I didn't kill none of them, but I mean, my grenades, you know, effed them up. And yeah, you guys know what did. I did. I had my contribution in this game. But anyways, yeah. So like I joined football, started weightlifting all that stuff. and. By the time football ended, season ended around uh, junior year, I hit my biggest point. I stopped working out because I stopped. I stopped being in football. I stopped like everything, and I was my biggest I ever been. I was at two twenty. No, no, I was at two thirty. That's actually. I used to think I was at two twenty five. I thought two twenty five was my heaviest, but I actually found like a my my uh, my old like a uh, my net diary is an app that you can track your calories and all that stuff. And I put my weight in there when I first started the app using it, and apparently my weight was 230. So I apparently it was 230. I remember 225, uh, like seeing it at your weight scale. But I'm just gonna go with 230 because it's probably most likely because that's what I had on the app. So I'm pretty sure it was 230. But um, anyways, like that was my fattest point, and I don't know why. Like I was just I was so happy at the time. It was just, thing was chilling. Uh, me, Mark, and Jacob were all. In, both of them were the last year, senior year, and I was still a junior. I don't know, it was just a chill time, you know? Up until like, probably, 
like April of that of that year of my junior year I, I found an ad on YouTube that really intrigued me a lot it was called the real Bruce Wayne it was by uh, this a YouTuber called Gregor uh, the YouTuber called Gregor Gallagher he runs a YouTube channel called Kino Body you guys might know him you guys might not know him he was really big on YouTube for a while because he was uh, showing that real Bruce Wayne trailer or uh, not trailer but like the little ad commercial everywhere on YouTube so as soon as I would watch a fitness YouTube like a fitness YouTuber like that that's the ad that we'll be playing but I don't know guys like his video was so dope first of all you know me I love superheroes I got the flash in the back I'm wearing the flash t-shirt right now I got my flash shaker cup right here like I love superheroes and all that stuff but in like I just seeing those words the Rupert Wayne it made me want to stick watching the trailer the the commercial so I didn't skip the, that and I watched it and I got inspired how he's what how he talked about life how he talked about wanting to get what you want to do and all that stuff and then I started looking more stuff into it and then um I kind of learned some stuff about nutrition that a lot of stuff actually about nutrition that I did not know whatsoever I started learning about uh training and all that stuff and I wanted to follow this guy's program I don't know why it's just something like I feel like I never really like took fitness into my own hands I would like like see what people are doing and I would just do what they did because I didn't really know what to do until now, I mean, now I, now I don't know what to do. Now I just, I do my own stuff because like I know what I'm doing. I know what works for me. So that's what I'm doing. But back then I kind of would just follow people. So I actually followed one of Greg's programs. It's called the, uh, the Warrior Trading Program. And it actually worked amazingly for a while. It, I feel like it would have worked a lot better, but it, it would it had to be on me. So, cause the, 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 the thing is I was a problem. So this is what happened. I followed it like around May. May is when I bought the program. For up until like April, I was just looking at some of his free programs that he offers and I was just using his tips that he has on YouTube. But I didn't have a weight set. I didn't start lifting weights. I had a few, uh, two, uh, two dumbbells, free weights. And I would just do like dumbbells right here in my room whenever I play video games, like during a loading screen or something like that. I would just start curling. And I was super bad for him. I was, just, I don't know. I just, I would just get the weight up. I didn't care how I was doing that because I didn't really know how to do it. I was just trying to get the weight up. But overall, like, at least I was trying. And uh, I bought his, uh, his uh, Warrior Strength program, and from May up until like, I kind of stopped following it like around like August. And from and I, I around I think around August I hit 190, so I went from 230 to 190. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie guys, like I probably could have done like a lot better. But it was just I don't know, I didn't my the, my nutrition didn't my nutrition didn't was I wasn't like like on my nutrition so at some points. So, like at some points I would just kind of like get off it, like I didn't really care about it. But um. One thing that helped me a lot is I was kind of like insecure about like going to the gym. I was afraid of going to the gym, not knowing what to do. I think people were going to look at me and all that stuff. So I convinced my dad for my birthday that same year, that that May on, on, on April, I convinced my dad to buy me a, a weight set, like a full-on weight set, like a bench rack. And if you guys remember watching me since the beginning of my channel, or if you watched my video the other day and we were reacting to my first vlog, I... um. Did I work out that day? No, I didn't work out my first block, so never mind. But if you guys watch some, if you guys been watching my videos since the beginning, um, you guys would know that I used to actually work out here outside my backyard in, in that very bench set that I'm talking about. It, the bench set, of course, comes with a rack, uh, so you can do squats and all that stuff too. And then the free weights that I had, I just had, I got more weights, I got more weights, so I sticked on that for a while. I trained on that all the way up until this year, 2017, around. Um, June. Yeah, I've been training there since since June. After June, when summer started, I started going to the gym with uh, Mark and Jacob because um, my nephew Jacob, he was in Mexico. He lived in Mexico for a while and he came back and he wanted to start going to the gym. And me, Mark, and Jacob were just like, you know what? Let's all go to the gym. Us three of us together and we all had gym memberships because I've been having gym memberships since forever. And I was like, all right, let's start going. And I just, I don't know, like, I like the gym better. Uh, I just like the atmosphere. I don't know. It just it feels good. I like it and I feel like there's more stuff for me to work with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, overall, I just I like working at the gym better. So I haven't touched my weight set in the back for a while, but one day I do want to go back to it. Just if I really want to train at home or something like that, you know. I, and what I realize that when I need it, it's not that much. I could just train with that. It'd be fine. But yeah, I lost weight up until that point, and then kind of from like that August point of like 2016 up until like I want to say, yeah, it, it was March. It was March when I started my YouTube channel. March. March is when uh, I found out, uh, I always knew about his, this, this guy, but like, I knew, a uh, fitness YouTube for me, I was always into fitness YouTube, but I was never really like a big guy to like follow people and like actually pay attention to the videos, I, would, I just kind of knew who they were. But um, I started following this guy, named, by the name of Christian Guzman, now I have a little picture of him in my back, 
it's that guy right there where my finger's at. And uh, I started following because of uh, my uh, my friend Mark told me that, oh, it's some restraining conscious of starting. And I was like, what is that? Because I knew who he was just because of my friend Mark. Mark. My friend Mark told me about him like a long time ago. And I was like, oh, yeah, I heard of this guy. And I just, I don't know, finished YouTube. Like, I knew who guys were, but I just didn't really bother following them. And I, and like, that first video where you showed the summer shredding how to enter and all that stuff, I was damn, dude. I got so motivated from that video, and I was like, you know what? I want to start YouTube on my own. I'm going to start YouTube. I just did it. So that same week I started summer shredding, I started my YouTube channel. I started uh, a proper cut and all that stuff, and I get like, guess, again, same thing. My nutrition wasn't on point <laughs> most of my cut. Like, I was, tr I tried to stick my nutrition on point, and then every now and then, like, I would fall and I would and I wouldn't stick on point but anyways from that around that time when summer training started I was like around 185 and then I finished like my legit cut in uh around August like the first of August uh, it might have actually been a little bit before before August they might have been like the last week of July and I got down to 165 so if you guys watch like my videos like during like like August like July ish time like I was pretty I was like really I consider myself like I consider myself skinny at that point I, I like I still had man boobs a little bit and like uh, love handles just because I that's where my fat stores But my legs were shredded my arms were shredded everything was about me was shredded except that, that part of my body my up my, my chest area my and my torso area just because that's my genes genetics are the way that my body just stores fat there So it's really hard for me to lose fat there, but the thing is I decided that I've been focusing so much on like losing weight for such a long long time and um I decided, you know what? Like, it's time for me to start making some muscle, you know, because I haven't made any, I haven't really made any that much gains in a while. Like, I haven't made like true gains. Like, I made small gains here and there because I've been trying to, I've been like kind of like on a deficit or something. I've just been on maintenance for such a long time, never really on a surplus to like make proper gains. So, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start my first actual bulk and not just not full on bulk. I don't want to like get fat and anything. So I started a lean bulk, and I'm still on my lean bulk right now. So far. Uh, my strength has gone up a little bit in some certain exercises. Uh, overall, I feel pretty good, but I feel like very. Calm. I, I feel like I look bigger. My my me and my sister my sister told me that your arms look bigger and my back looks wider. Like my shoulders look a little bit more spread up. And I can tell in shirts like this, for example, I didn't used to fill up the whole sleeve. Now my but my arm fill up the whole sleeve of it. I have no extra stuff on the shirt as you guys can see. But so that's a good sign for me at least. And uh. Overall, as I said, I said before that during this, the cut, my arms got shredded. I was able to. See, I have a bicep. I have a, like veins on my biceps that I didn't have uh, before the cut, and uh, my I have veins on my legs. I have veins on my thighs and stuff like that. Uh, my on my calves. So, pretty much everything about my body is honestly pretty like I say at a low body fat. It's just my torso and my upper chest. So that's why I'm really excited for this cut to come again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do summer shredding again when Christian Guzman says and this time I'm committed and I feel like I can because this time around I, I'm, I'm bringing it with a new mentality I'm bringing it with a brand new mentality this this this, this last cut it was just kind of like a it was kind of like a warm-up that's how I could consider it because I didn't really know exactly how to track my macros until this this cut and I never really track my macros I, when I was back like uh, trying to lose weight I would just track calories and now that I actually know how to track macros I keep everything on the little notepads on the app um I feel like I could do a lot okay. lot better so I'm really excited I feel like I'm gonna get shredded for the first time ever I feel like I'm actually gonna be able to get abs for the first time ever so I'm very confident I know I can do this I, I, I am gonna do this and it's gonna be an exciting time so stay tuned on my channel guys but with all that being said guys like that's pretty much my fitness journey like I got pretty much inspired inspired off um, watching just fitness YouTube over and over and over again and then um around like the summertime I really got into uh I, I will obviously like since uh Christian owns the company Alphaly, and then I, I like the company Alphaly, and then also I, I knew that he was used to be sponsored by Gymshark, and I started just watching, I went on the Gymshark actual like uh, on their YouTube page, and I found a video of this guy like deadlifting all that stuff by the name of David Lake, which is another guy I have there, poster, little mini poster right down my wall. I found so much inspiration from this guy. He's only 19. He's shredded. He's crazy. He has like over a 600 pound deadlift or something like that. A uh, sumo deadlift. And like, I don't know. Like, this, he, he's such a great guy, too, in his vlogs. He's such a great personality. Like, really inspiring. So, these two guys, like, those are my two favorite people in the fitness industry. It's Christian Guzman and then David Lade. And then, like, I don't know. Just got so, so inspired, so fired up. And, like, just keep watching more fitness YouTube throughout the way. I watched Lex Griffin. Matt Ogis, a whole bunch of other guys, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Now I'm at this point, I'm still obsessed with fitness, and I think I'll always be obsessed with fitness. 
and hopefully I got plans with something like that with fitness in the future so stay tuned guys with that being said guys though, I'm gonna wrap the video up here hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh, tomorrow we're gonna be back with the vlog so stay tuned till next time guys it's been Bojio and I'm out peace Wake up every day.